Namaste this is Mekla here from pujas.in welcome to the Q&A Tuesday today i have a question from a client who wants to know how we typically conduct the pujas once we receive booking from our clients so i just thought why not walk you through one of the experiences of one of our clients uh, and show you how typically we perform puja in their house so um, you know i thought uh, we can shoot the entire video and you can go see the sequence of the pujas and how we you know we perform the pujas how how many priests are there what is the offering how do we uh, establish the kalash and uh, how we offer fruits and flowers to the deity whom we perform the puja uh, to whom we perform the puja so you see here that uh, we have established devi ma bagalamukhi in the kalash because uh, this particular client wanted to do the bagalamukhi puja and they also wanted to do some pujas for their uh, children's education memory power Uh, to invoke the good luck and good fortune to get good marks in the exam uh, so there were many things that we did for them uh, more than 6 havans were performed and uh, you know ganapati and navagraha are uh, two forms of deity which we always uh, offer puja to before we begin any kind of uh, a homa or a puja so even in this video if you observe um, you know uh, always uh, like any other time we have performed the ganapati and navagraha pujas and then we have continued with the main deity the pradhana devata of the homa so here the priests are there and they have uh, taken the sankalpa in the name of the yajman where they are um, uh, praying that you know the uh, yajman's nakshatra rashi and gotra are taken into consideration and then they, uh, we make a prayer saying this particular yajman of this particular gotra and nakshatra let them get your divine blessings because that truly is your identity you know um, not your physical body alone it's always the nakshatra rashi and gotra which is the main identity that is where all the karmas are stored and when you do these kind of pujas all the karmas get absolved so in this we have a team of uh, six priests who are seated including a small child if you see he is a vatu like a small vatu means a brahmin boy and why we have him is because, because um, bagalamukhi mata is very fond of of vatus so that's why uh, even in the mantras it is said that she is vatu priyae namaha which means that she uh, likes innocent pure children so uh, when they pray definitely she listens to the innocent heart which is why we have him also as a part of the team of priests so you know we are very sensitive to what kind of uh, ahutis should be offered to the deity ahutis are fire, oblations to the fire what kind of flowers we should offer to her what all does she like as nevedya what fruits she likes what flowers she likes what color of the flowers everything we are very particular because we want our clients to get maximum benefit out of the puja so that you know within 40 days you get you get to see the results so once the puja is performed we do the deepa aradhana which we also uh, call it as mangal aarti so then we offer the mangal aarti to the deities give it to the yajman then we bless the yajman also we here uh, i mean to say the team of priests they uh, bless the yajman also and when the yajman is physically present they perform namaskarams to the priest and then they also in turn bless them so when they are physically not there then uh, also the uh, priest will anyway convey the blessings through the mantras so listen to the chants um, you know enjoy the vibrations generated by the chants for a little while and we'll catch up again the number of jobs and the kind of puja which we decide to do everything depends on the intensity of the puja for example if the dosha is very intense the japa sankhya will increase so the ahutis also will increase ahutis are always um, 10% of the japas which we perform 
so for them we had performed uh, 125000 japas of bagla mukhi mata so which is why we had to do dashamsha 12500 ahutis to get maximum benefit <laughs> The Shraddha Sukta, Medha Sukta, Saraswati Sukta homas were performed mainly uh, to uh, improve on the child's uh, children's education, uh, memory power capacity, um, you know, so that all the hard work that the child puts in should also result in good marks and performance in the exams and overall performance too. So, which is why these uh, pujas were also done. So, always we can perform, uh, uh, you know, I suggest that when we're doing the homas, better to perform at least uh, four or five deities, uh, you know, because uh, we, Ganapati and Navagraha, we are anyway going to be doing. So, other deities also we can just combine, it will be very cost effective for you because, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, it's not easy to keep getting homas done unless you are a very blessed soul. So, you must have done some punya to even uh, invoke God's um, grace. And if you are able to do the havan now, better to also include all the deities who are important for your life and then do everything in one shot so that, you know, you get maximum boost, like a booster dose of grace. So, which is why uh, we always recommend you to do at least four or five havans, whatever suits you best. That we will recommend as per seeing, you know, as per your horoscope, we will have a look and we can recommend that. That's not a problem. <laughs> The divinity uh, and Sanatana Dharma is uh, something so special and so powerful that you know we have solution for all problems. There is no problem in this world which does not have a solution with God and uh, we have uh, with God's grace only acquired the mastery to tell you exactly what you need to do to solve this particular problem of yours so if you have any problem do not think that it's a dead end or a you know there is no solution to this problem how I, we don't know how to go about it oh my life is only going to be like this don't ever think like that just contact us you can uh, you know uh, approach us and definitely you will get a good solution with God's grace and once we suggest a remedy when you do it you will also experience the result <laughs> You see, all the priests are actually specialized. They have received the Guru Diksha, and uh, they are they have attained Siddhi in the mantras which they are uh, you know uh, with, through which they are performing and invoking God's grace. Because without Guru Diksha, par, uh, ch do, chanting any mantra is of no use. And uh, once they re, uh, you know do the Puras Charana, uh, you know when they call the gods through these uh, homas and havanas, what automatically what happens? is that definitely the gods will answer the prayers so that is exactly what we do we uh, we our specialization is to have the best team of everything we don't compromise on anything and uh, we offer the best of the priests most knowledgeable learned and uh, who know the ritualistic way of uh, uh, you know approaching divinity uh, who know the sequences who have the experience of conducting many homas typically every day we have a puja booking with god's grace and uh, we are always in touch with divinity so every day we are performing pujas and that's how we are so well versed with this through our own rich experience see i told you this is the Deeparadhane which i was talking about which the priest is performing now uh, to the homa kunda and to devi ma that is also called as mangalarati <laughs> See now they are doing the Ashirvada to the devotees. They are blessing the Ejamans. Ejaman is nothing but a client or a devotee who has booked for the puja. 
प्रसाद भल सिद्धिस्तु उत्तर अभिवृद्धिस्तु सर्वशोभन In this way, we can uh, worship any form of divinity we want to through the Homa. Homa is considered the most powerful only because uh, in Homa the gods have to descend to take the uh, offerings or ahutis which we give them. So invariably they come and then when they take accept our uh, whatever we offer as ahuti, they have to return back the. Uh, uh you know something in give us something in return as blessing which is why they definitely come and they bless us uh, with whatever our prayers are they you know so that it's all fulfilled so this is their dharma they always they never um, go away from dharma it's only human beings who, who go astray from dharma and suffer but gods are always sticking to their dharma the moment they descend to earth through the agni agneshwara they have to bless the devotees and they always do no matter how unreasonable we demand or uh, you know pray always these prayers are answered and we have seen that uh, within 40 days typically people are able to uh, see good results for all the pujas they perform through us so um, faith is very important definitely and um, and following whatever has been prescribed so these are the two important things when we do this definitely we see results so um, i thank you very much for uh, signing up for this particular video and um, i urge you to subscribe to our channel turn the notification button on so that every time a new video is uploaded you get to know about it and uh, you understand that a new video means a new puja or a, a new uh, approach to wisdom or something new to learn about and then definitely to change your life for the better so i uh, i request you all to subscribe to my channel pujas.in turn the notifications on and any time you feel like doing any puja invoking god's grace feel free to contact us thank you so much god bless you